Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick look at the Sony VCT SGR1. This is a shooting grip designed for the RX100 as well as the RX0, and essentially it gives you tripod capability, which you can see right now in front of the RX100 Mark VI, as well as, of course, as I mentioned, a shooting grip with dedicated controls. You can see for photo as well as video capture and then zoom control as well right here in the center. So with that said, I will show you exactly how this works. It should be available in the second week, I believe, of September. It's going to be retailing for um, a little under 100 US dollars. I think it's 98. So it just attaches at the... Uh, at the tripod mount right there, righty tighty of course, and then you're going to connect the micro USB port to the multifunction terminal. Now, Sony has said this is not compatible with the RX, excuse me, not the RX, the A6500 that I have to the left. So for those of you wondering why it's there, it's because I'm going to test it. Now, let's power the camera on. This was sent to me uh, to review by Sony, for those of you that are curious. And so I've got the camera on. Let's go ahead and flip up the display so you can actually see what I've got on board here. And now I'm just going to use the, uh, the zoom function right now. You can see no problems, nice and smooth. Zooming in and out. And there is some sensitivity uh, to the zoom on this, no question about it. But it seems to be doing it in steps. At least that's my experience right now. It appears almost like the zoom is stepping. Um, I would love to blame myself, but I'll have to use it more before I can really tell you what's going on here with this. So uh, until then, and then as far as image taking, of course, that works. Uh, I don't have an SD card in here, but you get the picture. Pretty straightforward. And then, of course, if you want to shoot yourself, there I am, blurry. Uh, now you're just getting an undershot, but you can see my point up my nose. Uh, but that's the idea. So if you're vlogging, whatever it may be, you've got that functionality, which I think is definitely a nice thing. You can adjust this, the actual tilt right here with that button. And it is not battery operated, it's just using the juice from the camera's onboard battery via the multi-port, AKA micro USB uh, terminal that it links up with. So far, I can tell you right now, I think it's kind of a must have for RX100 owners uh, because it's just a no brainer to have a grip that also has still video capture and zoom control. Albeit the zoom control didn't look that impressive here on my first look, Still very interesting. Now, let's check compatibility, which is the, other, is the other thing that I wanted to address because that I am curious about. So I am going to assume, although I will test, uh, that it functions with the RX100 Mark V. There's no reason. However, I've seen Sony directly tell consumers it is not compatible with the A6500. And I really don't see a reason why it wouldn't work with it. Now, Granted, most of the lenses you'll be using won't be powered. There are a collection of them, this being the kit 16 to 50 mil. But of course, that is a good example to begin with. Uh, I don't have a screen that can flip around here, obviously. But I do have a camera and I do have a power zoom. So with that in mind, I should, if Sony's working with all the same juice here, be able to zoom in. And guess what? I can. So, first thing we've learned upon the arrival of this contraption, this joystick, because it isn't really large enough for me to consider it like a pistol style grip for a camera. It's very small, I will say that, considering what I saw as opposed to how, you know, the actual form in person, it is very small. But again, as you can see, here's the test. All right, so it works. Uh, we're able to take video as well. I'm not concerned about that. I don't have an SD card in there, but if it's giving it the command to shoot a still, it works. I mean, and it's zooming, as you can see, in and out. Let me see if it has the same issue as far as doing it in steps. If I try to do a slow zoom, 
So let's see right now. Very little pressure. Yep, it's taking steps. So really not any different, uh, excuse the glare there, than the performance that we were getting out of the RX100. So it does work with the A6500. Um, I'm not sure of any other reason why it wouldn't work. I don't know why Sony said it doesn't work. Maybe it's just a matter of marketing. But with that out of the way, that's some welcome news in my opinion. In fact, yet another reason why uh, this add-on, this accessory, again, it's the VCT SG R1. I will have a link in the description. Is more than a worthwhile item to pick up if you own any... Um, I would say small form factor cameras like these, uh, you know, I wouldn't want to put this, let's say, on an RX100, but I might test that next. After all, you guys know I have that sitting here. Uh, I didn't plan on bringing it into this shoot, but certainly can do it. Oh, now, here we go. One flaw, which I knew was coming. Uh, this does block the battery door, for those of you that are wondering. On the A6500... There was more clearance, so we don't have that issue. But on the RX series, it does black, uh, excuse me, block the battery door. Let me go ahead and pop the battery out of this for the RX100 Mark V. So we can see if that works. And if it does, I'm going to be impressed because... But I'm also not going to be surprised. I'm bringing in the RX10 now because things just got real. I want to know, does this thing work? We've, we've already worked with one. And you see you're learning, you are learning all of this in real time with me as I do it. So let's go ahead and just, again, remount. And I don't know how much I trust this mechanism either, but we'll see over time. It might be fine. You know, things... I have plenty of camera straps that work this way, and I, I trust in them, so I don't see why I would have any trust issues with this. Okay, so here we are with the RX100 Mark V. Guess what? I mounted it backwards. Did you catch that? That's fairly easy to fix. <laughs> this is still not ideal in terms of the uh, wire configuration, but it works perfectly fine. So let's see. Image, yes. Zoom, yes. And oddly enough, does it appear, I don't get a lot of glare there, this isn't going to reproduce incredibly well, but if I do zoom much noisier on this camera, for those of you unfamiliar, than on the RX100 Mark VI, something I'll be talking about in my review, full review of the Mark VI, but because this is a shorter zoom, it's still doing the steps. So there is no gradual zooming with this. It seems to be an all-or-none game. Uh, but of course, again, it does work, which is what I expected. So this is kind of a must have, it appears to me, because you can use this with pretty much any RX100 camera. The final test is going to be uh, the Mark, the RX10 Mark IV, which I highly do not recommend using this with. But how could I do a video like this and not just see if uh, it can blend, so to speak? So I do have a battery on board. Let me make sure that it's got a charge. It does have a charge. Okay. Oh, it's about to die. So let's do this test really quickly. I think this is a bad idea for a variety of reasons, which is that this grip is really designed for cameras that have terrible ergonomics, and the ergonomics on the RX-10 happen to be great, in my opinion. Uh, the other reason I think it's a bad idea is that I don't think this thing can support the weight, but hey, it's here. I got some battery life. Let's see, as I mentioned, whoops, if it can blend. Powering on. And the battery is literally about to die. Let's just see. Because, and it's working. Okay, so realistically, what I really like about this already is that even if it's awkward to hold the camera like this, if it works, bring this out for you, which it seems to be doing right now, that would mean that you've got a way to stabilize video, I think, a little bit better um, and possibly stills, but I do feel it flexing, um, I gotta tell you. So, you know what? 
take it back. Unless you're going to really handle this with care, I do not recommend this pairing because I already felt uh, this, uh, the tilt, almost like fluid head that they did here, starting to waver. So uh, let's stay away from this. I will not recommend doing this, even though it is functional. But there you have it. This is a fairly comprehensive look at what this little grip is capable of. Again, it is not going to be public until, uh, I believe, again, the second week. I think it's September 12th, but I highly recommend it to anyone out there, um, whether you're looking to improve ergonomics, um, obviously make your shots much more stable, uh, but then to boot, you do have the little tripod. So, I mean, how can you go wrong with this sort of accessory? Uh, could it have been less expensive? Sure, but you knew that before you bought all the, the Sony gear, and anyone who follows my channel knows that when you compare Sony gear to the competition, even if the accessories are expensive, their DI department is delivering ounce for ounce the best stuff on the market. But that wraps it up, at least for a first look. I will revisit the uh, SGR1 grip and let you know whether or not I think it is absolutely worth it, but at least at face value, considering all the cameras I just tested it on, and I imagine it works on others. Again, Sony only says the RX100 Mark VI and Mark Zero. Seems like a no-brainer. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.